Hello and welcome to the Visher Quality Analyzer installation guide. Throughout this video, we will show you how to install the Quality Analyzer, both on the server side and the client side. Uh, there are certain steps that we'll have to follow in order to have it up and running. The first thing is that you will have downloaded um, two sets of zip files. One of them will be um, the one used for the server side and the other one contains the actual plugin necessary for the client side. Let's start with the server side. Here at the right hand side, you see all the different steps that we need to carry out in order to have the server configured. Uh, we will have to create the database and configure the database that will contain all the metrics we will install the actual quality analyzer and then we will configure the quality analyzer in order to connect to that database. So let's unzip the server side. All right. So once unzipped, you will find three sets of files. So what we're going to do is that we're going to start installing the database. Um, the actual order of these steps uh, doesn't matter. Uh, but let's just start with the database scripts. You will have one script to create the database, another one to create the uh, uh, different tables, and another one to create um, the different words and terms um, that will uh, be installed out of the box in the configuration of the quality analyzer. Um, let's edit the first one. And we will edit it to um, change the password of the uh, QBScribe user. Um, the first thing, and th there are two very important steps. The first one, just uh, delete this uh, typo in the scripts in order, uh, or in case you have the older version of the scripts. And you can also see here that the script creates a database user. Um, the user is called qbscribe underscore user by default, and you will find a um, out of the box um, password. So let's change this for something like uh, visual test one, two, three as an example. And that's all the configuration that we have to do um, in the database scripts. So let's say that we have completed the first step. Now executing the quality analyzer database scripts is relatively easy. Um, you will see that they have a SQL uh, extension. That means that we can double click on them. Um, otherwise, we can also open um, SQL Server Management Studio and open the queries. So I just double clicked on it. Um, SQL Server Management Studio takes a little while to open. Um, and then in order to execute the scripts, you can open them with whatever database user you might have. Uh, I'm going to use the Windows Authentication user here. All right. Uh, so let's connect. Perfect. And you can see that the script has been loaded in here. So now what I have to do is that I select um, the script and now I'm going to execute it. You can see at the bottom that the query is executing. So it's basically creating the database and it's creating the user and it's um, assigning the corresponding access rights to that user over the database. So the first script has been executed. Let's execute the second one. Um, and let's click on execute. Um, we can see that it's running in here. We just have to wait a little bit and the executed, the command has been executed successfully. Now let's go for the third one. So as you can see here, you have all the different terms for each one of the metrics. Um, what you can do is that if you would like to add any term at this point, you would be able to do it. Uh, we will see that it is possible to do it through the user interface once the plugin is configured. But in case you already have a glossary of terms, uh, you can do it in batch mode in here. So let's execute this third script. Uh, that was fast and the database has been already configured. All right, 
So let's go for the third step, install quality analyzer. So the quality analyzer, if we go back to the um, unzipped file, you will find a setup.exe. So just execute it. And this step should be pretty straightforward. And it should be just the next, next, next type of installation. Let's give it uh, administration rights and finish. All right, so we have finished the third step. Let's go for the fourth step. At this point, we have already configured the database. We have installed Quality Analyzer, and we just need to indicate that uh, they should be communicating uh, with one another. So. Um, in order to do that, uh, let's go to the installation folder. Um, so program files, QRA Corp, QVS Core, and you can see that we have this config file. Um, so let's edit the file. Uh, you might need to um, have administration rights in order to edit a file inside the program files. So the Notepad++ will actually uh, reopen with administration rights. Uh, at the bottom of this file, you can see that in order for the quality analyzer to connect to the database, it will use a DSN. So DS, this DSN um, shall be named like this. So I am going to copy the name. Um, this is the user um, to connect. And here we have the password. The password was modified um, and we typed in Visual test one, two, three. So let's si save this. Um, as I mentioned, it will be uh, reopened with administration rights um, and I'm going to save it. All right. So let's create the DSN. So I'm going to type in here ODBC 32 bit. And what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the system DSN and we're going to add a new DSN. In this case, it's going to be SQL Server um, driver that we're going to use. Um, in here, we're going to use the same name that we have in the configuration file. And then in here, we just need to type in the um, name of the SQL server. Um, I already know mine, but what you can do is open the management studio and in the login page, you will see at the top the name of the server. So let's click on next and let's connect using the um, user and password defined in the file and defined in the database. So that is kubescribe user and visher test one, two, three. Um, in this step, we have to indicate the database we want to connect to. So let's select kubescribe here. Next and finish. Um, let's just check the connection and we can see that the connection is successful. And let's click on OK and OK. So we have completed all of the steps regarding the server. So now we need to install the client side. Um, on the client side, we will have to go to the corresponding client. Um, in our case, I will use the same machine. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the unzipped file. Um, or to the zip file that contains the uh, client part. So let's extract here and let's see what we have. Um, well, actually, to make it easier, I'll unzip it in the folder. Okay. So in here we have three files. One of them is the actual plugin the configuration and a DLL that needs to be installed in Visher. So let's start with that. Um, let's first of all um, copy the DLL into the Visher installation folder. So 
let's just, uh, um, for instance, open this one, program files. Let's go to visual requirements. And we're going to copy this file here. As simple as that. All right, so now that we have the file, we have to copy the plugin folder. So um, the, the plugins can either be installed in the plugins folder inside the local installation, or we can use the corporate plugins path. In our case, the corporate plugins path points to this folder. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy these two files here. And, um, um, and now I have to configure the actual plugin. So I'm going to edit the file. And here we have the host and the port. So in here, just uh, um, indicate the IP or the host name of the machine where you installed the um, uh, QB scribe server part. In our case, it's the same one, so I'll keep it as a local host. All right. Um, if you cannot connect, just make sure that there is no firewall preventing the connection to the server. All right. So we're almost done with the installation. We just need to configure the uh, project where we want to use it. So let's open Visher. And this step is um specific to each one of the projects that will use the quality analyzer so uh, i'm going to connect to the project that has the um, corporate plugins path located uh, where i indicated previously and now i i'm going to go to the project organization inside the project organization i'm going to go to attributes and I'm going to create a new one. In this case, Cubis, Cubis Scribe Score. Make sure that you write it exactly as in here. And we are going to call it, uh, we're going to define a text attribute. Let's click on OK. Um, also, at this point, you can go to the Properties tab, to the Scope, and indicate um, the scope of this attribute. You can indicate that only requirements will take a quality um, um, a, a quality, or you can indicate that only the uh, all the requirements. Uh, if you don't want to define a, uh, let's say a scope, you can just uh, apply to every single requirement. So let's just select um, requirements here so that everything within the requirements uh, will take this attribute. All right. Perfect. So we have already defined the attribute and the scope. And you can see here that component requirements, uh, software requirements, uh, uh, system requirements, product requirements, they all take this attribute. OK, so um, let's double check that the um, plugin is correctly configured. So the first thing, if we go to plugins, we should see this uh, toolbar. Uh, or in the, within the plugins tab. This is the configuration. Um, and if we click here, we can see that um, it is already connecting. And we can see that uh, all the terms are in here. Um, that works. So let's go to the, let's say, product requirements. And we can see that uh, the QB scribe requirement score is already being displayed. If it is not being displayed, what you can do is uh, right click, column chooser, plugins, QB scribe requirement score. Um, you can also display the, uh, re the um, attribute that we created, and we should have it in here. The attribute that we created will contain the actual um, the actual uh, score um, and the stars are just like a graphical representation. So let's uh, try the plugin. The system shall provide a quick and easy way for the users to calculate the qu 
quality of their requirements it shall be easy to use um, directly from the user interface so um, we can all uh, figure out what the quality will be but let's just analyze it let's click on yes uh, the quality of course is the minimum possible and you can see that the star is being displayed in here if we go to the properties tab we will see a new tab being displayed in here that will indicate all the different problems uh, like for instance easy it shall a shall must and so on okay so this is the configuration of the actual plugin and now some troubleshooting if you're experiencing an error at startup uh, inside visual requirements you may be missing a windows component uh, what you can do is that you can log into our sendesk uh, portal and simply search quality analyzer the knowledge database will display all the different uh, um, articles on that topic and for instance we have the um, error at startup so let's take a look at it um, in here you might be experiencing this issue and the fix um, might be either because the DLL was, was not installed or you are missing this visual C++ redistributable uh, you can simply download it from this URL uh, make sure to download the 32 bit um, version of it and um, you should be up and running so thank you for listening to this video goodbye